Hello QPR fans, my name's Harry and today I'm going to Queen's Park Rangers vs Blackburn Rovers. Today's game for QPR is on the back of a 1-0 loss at Ellen Road vs Leeds United. Somerville getting an early goal for Leeds and then Asmer Begovic getting a red card in the 90th minute. Thankfully though, Patrick Bamford was proved to be a diving cheat. Begovic just helps it past him. Oh, there's no touch, he's a diving cheat! And the red card rightfully got turned over, which should have happened really, he didn't even touch him. Really concerned about what we're going to do with our managerial vacancy, um, as Ainsworth is one, still in a job, which I don't really agree with, and two, Neil Warner. He's out of job right now and he wants to come back in the championship. What a, what a guy to bring in. But anyway, today's game for Blackburn Rovers is also on the back of a 1-0 loss, also away from home against Coventry City. After Coventry City scored in the 85th minute, they beat Blackburn Rovers 1-0. Don't really know what's going on Blackburn, uh, not really, don't really look into their thing, just know their last game. I will say though, just like Sunderland, if Blackburn beat QPR today, they would have won more times at Loftus Road in 2023 than QPR have yet. Which is absolutely shocking, the fact that we've played at Loftus Road 20 times, one win, four draws, and bloody, what was it, 15 losses, behave lads, come on. On my last video, I had some fans, one, hate me for leaving the match early, two, one of the lads was having a go at me because I said Ainsworth out. Right, I'm just going to clear up these two facts right now. The Ainsworth one. Just because I wasn't old enough to see him play at Shepherd's Bush does not mean that I don't know what a good manager is. I'll put the comment up on the screen right now. So you think that bloody Ainsworth after winning just five games in charge after seven months, one of them only was at home, you think that he is still the gaffer for us to take us forward? B.A., come on, man. And also, the other fact that I'm not a real fan. If I wasn't a real fan, I wouldn't have come to this game today. If I wasn't a real fan, I wouldn't have had a season ticket for the last three or four years. If I wasn't a real fan, I wouldn't be travelling up and down the country to the likes of Fleetwood to watch us lose and then travel three hours back. And I don't live in West London, I live in Worcestershire. So it takes about two and a half hours to get to London anyway. So I'm also travelling two and a half hours every week to go watch QPR play at home. And most of the time, we lose. Come on guys, just actually use a bit of common sense. I've been travelling two and a half hours for the last three years up to West London to watch QPR. And we lose. Hopefully today's referee for our game is a little bit better. Um, and I hope the one... The from bloody what's it? Who did we play last week? Who did we play last week? Coventry, that's it. I hope the one from Coventry as well is a bit better. How like how does Begovic get that red card, but Armstrong doesn't even get a penalty? It just proves that they literally have no idea like how to ref a football match. Then you got stop ref hate UK or whatever it is. Behave lads, come on. Anyways, let's hit the road and get over to West London for two and a half hours. Come on, you was. Sign up on the screen right now. A very questionable lineup, not a massive fan of it. Starting Larkesh, excited to see what he can do, but at least Cannon's on the bench. 
Duke McKenna over Smith though. Don't know if that's the right move. Go QPR fan here. What do you think the score is going to be, mate? 1-0 uh, to the Arsenal. That'd be good eyes. Very yeah. nice. Yeah, it would be. I'm not as, com not as confident as him, but, uh, <laughs> but hopefully that is the result. And I'll just take whatever we get. Come on, you was. <laughs>
I'm not going to another game till Ainsworth is sacked. You know what? Fuck that. Uh, um, well, you're a fucking banter club. It's disgusting. Fucking travel two and a half hours every fucking week to watch that shit. Bruv, I could go to Birmingham City Stadium twice and it'd take me the same amount of time just to get there once. Bruv, this is disgusting, lads. Ainsworth, get that fucker out of our club. Get him out of our club. Ainsworth out. If we don't sack him, we're a fucking failed club. If we don't sack Ainsworth, we need to sack the fucking board. This needs to be addressed straight away. Our fans go to West London, they go to, they tr if you don't even live in West London, they travel to West London, like me, they travel up and down the country to the likes of Middlesbrough, Leeds United on a Wednesday night, bloody Stoke, West Brom that's coming up, and this is how we're repaid. It's absolutely shocking, the fact that we have to put up with this. We give them all the support, and this is what is happening. Ainsworth is the problem to, it, Ainsworth is the main problem. He is the problem to our mess right now. You can't tell me that Begovic, Cook, Powell, Field, uh, Fox, Clark Salter, Colback, all these players are bad. You could not tell me that. It's the way they're played. If we were a smart club, we'd sack Ainsworth now, get Warnock in, and if we had some sort of sense and if we could afford it, we'd get Warburton as a director of football. But no, we're probably just going to keep Ainsworth for the rest of the season, probably go play in the Papa John's Trophy the next year and play Fulham's under-21s. Is this really our expectations right now? We are expecting to go down, QPR, one of the most historic clubs in this division, and our own fans are expecting us to go down and play in the Papa John's Trophy in the first round of the FA Cup next year. We're going to be playing the likes of Brentford under-21s, Chelsea under-21s, Fulham under-21s. Are we actually a joke? Is this a joke to you, Rangers? Is this actually a joke to you, Ainsworth? I'm not going to another home game until we sack that bitch. He is not fit to manage QPR. He is not fit to be our manager. We gave him his time. He had his time in February. His time should have been up at the end of the season. But no. We gave him another chance. And you know what? He took it. Watford, he fucked it. But Cardiff, I thought we were on to something here. I thought... We played brilliant and we're on to something. But you can't be expecting us to win away from home more than at home. We've won one game at home in 12 months. We have won five games in 2023. Blackburn Rovers, Sunderland and Coventry City have won at Loftus Road more times in 2023 than Queen's Park Rangers. It's absolutely shocking the fact that you still have fans that stay till the end and clap the players off. You don't deserve to be clapped off after that sort of performance. Come at me in the comments saying that I don't know Ainsworth. Come at me in the comments saying I'm not a real fan. Look, you can say what you want. I don't give a shit about what you think. I know what a good manager is and I know what a bad performance is. They were both there today. Apart from the good manager, the bad manager was there today. Again. Anyway, don't know when I'll next see you. It'll probably be a different video because... Well, obviously, it's the international break, so, um, yeah, it'll probably be a different video. Actually, no, it will be a different video. If I go to Huddersfield away, you will not know until on the day. But, yeah, thanks for watching this horrendous video. See you all soon.